In the Bible, we don't have a hierarchy of gods. We have one God. We don't have a myth in which, you know, the gods order themselves. You've got one God who's in charge. All the other gods or servants are slaves to him. And then that replicates itself in the human realm, right? You see in the other mythologies, you have the hierarchy of the gods, and then that hierarchy replicates itself among the humans, right? And so it's natural, in a sense, to think of, oh, well, if there's a hierarchy of gods, and there's one lead god or several, and then there are slave gods, if you like, the same thing would be true on human cultures. The Bible, different picture altogether. No, there's one God. The humans are not his slaves. He does never treats them as slaves. He treats them as partners who are called in to cooperate with him, and in some sense, called into his divine life with them. Very different picture. And I just wonder, back to the idea of why is the biblical tradition, why does it tend to produce equality, self-government, liberty? These other traditions don't. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's this fundamental difference in how they picture the universe. 